Cynthia, well, we know that the gradual reopening of the economy continued today with the extra curbside pickup that's being allowed for non-essential businesses. However, today the city is also announcing a brand new program that they want to help businesses set up their own online stores at the same time. It's called the Shop Here program, and it's being set up to give those small businesses and artists the chance to build and launch their online store for free. Nearly 50,000 Toronto businesses will be eligible for the program, which will be available until the end of August. Uh, I think this will help a lot of businesses. And of course, the benefit isn't just during the pandemic period. The benefit is long thereafter, as it helps these businesses, many of which have been around for a long time, to adapt to some of the new realities of retail uh, in the City of Toronto. So I think we took a step early on to triple the budget of Digital Main Street. Now, with the help of all these companies and the Shula School of Business, we're adding in this program, which will help 3,000 businesses in the next few months. And I think that's going to be a very significant contribution to these smaller businesses and artists. Here are the latest COVID statistics for the City of Toronto. There have been a total of 7,557 cases and 5,340 have recovered. There are 431 people currently in hospital with 101 intensive care. To date, there have been 589 deaths due to the coronavirus. Now, today, Dr. Eileen Davila says while reproduction numbers for the virus are getting better in this city, it's important to remember it's still the epicenter for Ontario cases. COVID-19 activity is declining in Ontario and in Toronto. However, we do continue to see new cases in our city. In fact, yesterday, approximately 50% of all newly confirmed cases since the previous day reported by the province were here in Toronto. Within the latest numbers, Dr. Davila also confirmed the new, uh, brand new death in the city's shelter system. A man in his 50s who was living at Dixon Hall died in hospital on May the 8th.